What's up everyone? Welcome back to another YouTube video. Uh, after a lot of challenges and doing a live stream last night and trying to record this but with the interruptions, let's try to do this without further interruptions. So it is current day now as I'm recording this. So it should be, you know, it's, it's about 1300 hours, 1 p.m. The beta should be out as soon as this video drops. So let's go in here and check. Now I do have the beta profile, so uh, I put it back on the iPhone 11 right here. So iOS 14 beta, uh, not beta, iOS 14 public release is 4.3 gigabytes. It was 4.79 gigabytes on the iPhone 11 Pro Max. I did see, I did see uh, a few of my audiences commented that and then whatever else. So this video, what is new? We're going to look at these release notes. So voice landscape for people settings. that are visually the impaired, uh, I'm going to go through with voiceover on top of this. So it's. It's it's feature packed, but also accessible for people with disabilities. So let's get on the road. iOS 14 updates the core experience about this software about this update. About Heading. this update. Let's iOS see. 14 updates the core experience on iPhone includes significant app updates and other new features. Yes, this is the update I've been waiting for. All new widgets. All new widgets. Bullet list redesigned widgets can be placed right on the home screen. Yeah, I like the widgets. Bullet. Small, medium, and large widget sizes allow you to pick the amount of information to display. See, these widgets, here I thought uh, the widgets that, um, here I thought they were going to be clunky, messy, whatever, but Apple, yeah, yet again, you surprised me yet again. Bullet. Widget stacks make the most of your home screen space and the smart stack uses on device intelligence to surface the right widget at the right time. I'm sorry for the iPad Pro over there. Bullet. Widget stacks make the most of your home screen space and the smart stack uses on device intelligence to surface the right widget at the right time. Yeah, that that actually is really nice because you can, uh, with the weather widget, you if because I know some people use the weather app on the iPhone, you can stack multiple cities on top. I don't know the limit, but uh, yeah. Bullet. Widget gallery includes all available widgets to browse and choose from. Yep, third-party widgets from app developers should be coming out either today or through the next upcoming month so hopefully developers update their widget kits bullet redesign apple widgets for weather clock calendar news yes, maps yes, fitness yes, photos yes, reminders yes, stocks yes, music yes, tv yes, tips yes, notes yes, shortcuts yes, battery yes, screen time yes, files podcasts yes, and yes, series suggestions yes. list end yes this is the update i've been waiting for i love it app library all right I love the app library. It reminds me of App Droid on Android. It, it and it's guess what? Way cleaner. So yeah. Bullet. The app library automatically organizes all of your apps into categories. Yeah. These categories are not customizable, which I saw people griping about that. Hey, it's a new feature. Shut up. Bullet. The suggestions category uses on device intelligence to show apps you're likely to be looking for based on factors like time of day or location. And if you got headphones plugged in, it also does show some stuff too. Bullet. The recently added category shows apps that were recently downloaded from the App Store, as well as app clips that were recently launched. This is cool. I, I like it. I have not messed with app clips, but I, I like the uh, other stuff. This is actually pretty nice. Bullet. Ability to hide home screen pages to get to the app library even faster by tapping on the dots at the bottom of the screen while in jiggle mode. List end. Yes. I love hiding it, my pages. I never can go back to 13. Compact. Bullet. Compact design. Yeah, I love the compact design for the, the that. Yes. Bullet. List start. The compact design. Siri has a compact design that allows you to refer to information on screen and seamlessly launch into your next task. Yes. Bullet. Get ready for this. Picture in picture enables watching a video or taking a FaceTime call while you use another app. List end. This was on the iPad for the longest time, but now on iPhone. Messages. Messages. Bullet. List start. Pinned conversations keep up to nine of your favorite message threads at the top of the list. Yes, I use the pinned conversations. I love it. Bullet. Mentioned let you direct a message to an individual in a group conversation. I'm not in a, a bunch of groups, but that is very nice that Apple did add that. Bullet. Because, like, Skype and all that have it. Inline replies let you reply to a specific message and see all related messages in their own view. And on Skype, it's called quoting. Or you quote another person's message, so that that's nice. I like it. I'm digging it. Bullet. Group photos can be customized for a shared group look. List end. Oh, nice. Memo. 
bullet list start and then here's a bunch of stuff about the memoji uh I, you know i'm not gonna go through all this it it's just stuff i don't mess with memoji but you you can see all the stuff it's in the learn uh the the uh learn more tab on the uh software update panel within ios 11 new bullet new me bullet six bullet face cover maps bullet maps now here is maps and i got bullet cycling directions provide routes along bike lanes bike paths and bike friendly roads taking into consideration elevation or how busy a street is now where i live this this may not actually work so where i live yeah there there's a likely chance that the map a bunch of map features are not available for me bullet guides offer recommendations for places to eat meet friends or explore curated by a selection of trusted brands cool. bullet Electric vehicle routing helps you plan trips with supported electric vehicles and automatically adds charging stops along your route. That actually is pretty nice to actually have that about the maps. Bullet. Congestion zones help you route around or through active zones in cities like London or Paris. Yeah, that that that's nice for out in London and like Paris and all that. That that's pretty cool. Bullet. Speed cameras let you know when you're approaching speed and red light cameras along your route. Oopsie. <laughs> Bullet. Refine location enables a highly accurate location and orientation when in urban areas with a poor GPS signal. List end. Okay, that may be actually available. That may work where I live because of the, you know, that that actually may work. That one may. App clips. App clips. All right. This is new. Bullet. An app clip is a small part of an app that developers can create and that is discoverable at the moment you need it and focused on a specific task. Now, the app clips can only be like 10 megabits, megabits, megabytes in size. Bullet. Small by design, app clips are usable in a few seconds. Yeah. Bullet. Discover app clips through tapping NFC tags or scanning QR codes from messages, oh, maps, and Safari. Voice over off. Turning voiceover off on the uh, iPad Pro. But yeah, that that that's cool. Bullet. Recently used app clips show up in app libraries recently added category, and you can download the full version of the app if you want to keep it around. List end. Translate. Bullet. List start. Now, translate I've been actually messing around with. Man, the translate, oh. Hints disabled. A uh, high hints, but the translate, I I I like translate. It actually is really good, really really good. The new translate app is designed for conversations and can work completely offline, so your conversations stay private. Exactly, high security. Bullet. A split screen design in conversation mode has a single microphone button that automatically detects which of the selected languages is being spoken and transcribes the original and translated text on the correct size of the screen. Bullet. Attention mode shows translations in larger text so you can capture someone's attention. Bullet. Voice and text translations are supported for any combination of 11 languages. List and Siri. Okay, cool. Now here is Siri. Bullet. List. A new compact design allows you to refer to information on screen and seamlessly launch into your next task. Bullet. Expanded knowledge brings 20 times more facts than three years ago. Okay, cool. That That's that's crazy. Three years ago? That, that's crazy. Bullet. Web answers help find answers to a broader set of questions using information from across the internet. Good. Siri needs a little upgrade and a little, you know, help. Bullet. Audio messages can be sent with Siri on iOS and CarPlay. Now, I've actually been messing with this with a friend of mine. Uh, we were messing around with this since the beta. That, that, I like that. Bullet. Expanded language support for the new Siri voice and Siri translation. List end. That's nice. Search. Bullet. List star. Now here's search. search. Bullet. One place, bullet, one place where you can find everything, search for apps, contacts, files, quick information like weather and stocks, common knowledge, questions about people or places, or even quickly start a web search. Cool. Bullet. Top hit results show the most relevant information including apps, contacts, knowledge, points of interest, and websites. That's also pretty cool. Bullet. Quick launcher allows you to launch an app or website by typing a few characters. That's nice. Bullet. As you type, search suggestions show more relevant results as soon as you start typing. Bullet. Web search suggestions to launch Safari and get the most relevant web results. Bullet. Start a search in apps like mail, messages, and files. List end. That's also pretty cool. Um, in, in my next video, after this one, I'll be covering iPadOS separately as, you know, if I covered both of these, this video would be very long. Home. Bullet. List now, this start. is about HomeKit. Suggested automations help you set up automations with just a tap. Okay, cool. A visual status at the top of the home app gives you a summary of accessories that require your attention. That, that's, that's nice. 
Bullet. Dynamic suggestions of the most relevant accessories and scenes appear in Home Controls and Control Center. Okay. Bullet. Adaptive lighting automatically adjusts the color of your smart light bulbs throughout the day to maximize comfort and productivity. Uh, this is why I wish I had smart bulbs. Oh, this is, that, that, that's cool. Cool. Bullet. Face recognition for video cameras and doorbells uses on device intelligence to let you know who is there based on the people you've tagged in your photos app and recent visitors you identify in the home app. Haha. -ha. <laughs> no one's sneaking around, you criminals. Bullet. Activity zones for video cameras and doorbells captures video or sends you a notification only when motion is detected in areas you define. List end. Oh, nice. Safari. I hear Safari. Safari got some pretty massive, pretty, pretty big, you know, in my consideration, massive upgrade, updates. Bullet. Upgrades. List. Improved performance with an even faster JavaScript engine. Uh, that, that, that is an actual upgrade. Bullet. A privacy report shows cross-site trackers that are being blocked by intelligent tracking prevention. All right, that that one's cool. Bullet. Password monitor insecurely screens your saved passwords for any that may have been involved in a data breach. That that I like because that did sort of save me from the Twitter breach that happened about a few months ago. It warned me 24 hours before all the big celebrities that did get hacked, like Apple and all that, with the whole uh, Bitcoin scandal. It notified me 24 hours in advance. That was actually really nice. Bullet. Web page translation, beta translates entire web pages in English, Spanish, simplified Chinese, French, German, Russian or Brazilian Portuguese. List end. Oh, that's cool. Weather. Bullet. List start. Right, here's weather. Next hour precipitation chart shows a minute by minute forecast of the intensity of rain or snow over the coming hour for the U.S. That, that is actually cool, but uh, AccuWeather has um, up to 120 minutes, but you know, for, for the default weather app, if people just want to use the weather app, that, that is good. I just want to clarify now that, uh, yes, it is it, it, it does have elements of dark sky in it, but uh, it is still powered by the Weather Channel in the U.S. Bullet. Severe weather information displays government-issued alerts about certain severe weather events, including tornadoes, winter storms, flash floods, and more for the U.S., Europe, Japan, Canada, and Australia. List end. Now, in the U.S., it comes from the National Weather Service. Your local National Weather Service office. AirPods. Bullet. List start. Here's AirPods, and this is kind of one of the reasons why I want AirPods. Spatial audio with dynamic head tracking on AirPods Pro places sounds anywhere in space, creating an immersive surround sound experience. Ooh, cool. Bullet. Automatic device switching transfers audio from your iPhone, iPad, iPod Touch, and Mac. Yeah, that's, yep. That's if the, uh, that's if your audio is active. Like, if you're playing a song on one device, it'll switch to that device. Bullet. Battery notifications let you know if you need to charge your AirPods. List end. That's nice. Privacy. Ooh, I love me some privacy. Bullet. A recording indicator is displayed whenever an app has access to the microphone or camera. Which it does show on this on this device that I'm recording on right now because I am recording and my mic is on and I know that because I'm doing a screen recording video for y'all. Bullet. Approximate location can now be shared with an app rather than sharing your precise location. Love it. I actually do like that because there are some apps that I don't trust. Bullet. Limited photos library access gives you the option to share only selected photos with an app whenever an app asks for access. Haha, ha, Facebook. Nice try. And haha ha, to you too, Google. Bullet. App and web developers can now offer the option for you to upgrade your existing accounts to sign in with Apple. List end. Ooh. I like sign in with Apple. It actually is nice. Accessibility. Accessibility. Here we go. Bullet. Back tap is a quick way to trigger accessibility features by tapping on the back of your iPhone. I, ever since I've got an iPhone 11 and I've been using iOS 14 betas, I, I love back tap. I really do. I have my perfect back tap scenario. Bullet. Headphone accommodations amplify soft sounds and adjust certain frequencies, customized for an individual's hearing. Okay, that, that's pretty cool. Bullet. Sign language prominence in FaceTime detects when a participant is using sign language and makes the person prominent in a group FaceTime call. That's smart. That That's nice. At least they're not getting thrown to the curb. Bullet. Sound recognition uses on device intelligence to detect and identify important sounds such as alarms and alerts you to them using notifications. Yep, like this. It will... And sound recognition thinks this is an appliance. It's my uh, ambient weather dashboard. Uh, uh, my friend Justin, uh, he was in the live stream last night, which you can check that out. I'll throw a link in the description and you can watch that stream. It's two hours and 16 minutes long, but we had a lot of fun doing that. Uh, when he would... You know, he's good at imitating stuff. He imitated a cat so good that he triggered sound recognition for like almost 10 times in a row. Bullet. 
Voiceover recognition uses on-device intelligence to recognize elements on your screen to improve voiceover support for app and web experiences. Now, this is actually nice for uh, stuff like Google Classroom and stuff like that, like you heard at the beginning of the video. I've been testing stuff with some people. In, Bullet. In my image descriptions. Now. Read complete sentence descriptions of images. Landscape. Landscape. App. Limited photos. Library. Bullet. X. Bullet. Back. Bullet. Head. Bullet. Bullet. Sound recognition uses on device and bullet. Voiceover phone recognition. Phone. Bullet. All right. So voiceover recognition is nice because like if kids, you know, you know, kids that are blind, like uh, at the at blind schools or, you know, at their local school and they don't have the best accessibility their um, their their thing is that their accessibility there uh, that it will read out uh, PDFs. Now, there is a thing called voice stream reader, but. Not a lot of people have fifteen dollars at the disposal, and the the counties or or the schools can be finicky about the iPads. And if you have your own iPad, yeah, we know where that ends. Uh, so, anyways, you know this the, Apple's going in the right direction for like viewing, not just in Google Classroom. If you're viewing images on the web, this is this is going in the right direction. Image descriptions read complete sentence descriptions of images and photos with an app set on the web. Oh, nice bullet. That, that's actually really nice. Text recognition speaks the text identified within images and photos. Yes, th that's right there. That's what I was talking about. Bullet. Screen recognition automatically detects interface controls to aid in navigating apps. List end. Yes, that, 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 <sighs> I like it. It was weird at first. One of the, one of the people I know, they accidentally had it triggered and they thought their settings were bricked in beta one. And I did by accident too. <laughs> Whoops. So, yeah. This release also includes other features and improvements. Okay, cool. App Store. Go away, Google Assistant. Bullet. List start. Okay, what about the App Store? Important details about each app are displayed in a glanceable, scrollable view, including a way to see the games your friends are playing. List end. Okay, that, that's nice. Apple Arcade. Okay, here's about Apple Arcade. I don't really care about Apple Arcade because I'm not a big gamer. Bullet. Coming soon gives you a sneak peek at upcoming Apple Arcade games and you can automatically download them as soon as they released. Oh, nice. Bullet. See all games is improved with sorting and filtering by release date, updates, category, controller support, and more. That's cool for people that want to play games. Bullet. Achievements are browsable right from within the Apple Arcade tab. Alright. Bullet. Continued playing makes it easy to resume recently played games across devices. Alright, that that's also cool. You know, not a big fan on Apple Arcade, but for the people that are... You know, that's a demographic that, you know, hey, you're getting, you're getting some updates. That, that's nice. Bullet. Game Center dashboard showcases your profile, friends, achievements, letterboards, and more, all from within your game. List end. That's cool. Apple Cash Family. Now here's Apple Cash Family. Bullet. Apple Cash can be enabled for up to five family members under 18. Okay. At, okay. Bullet. Send money to your child through messages or by asking Siri. That's, that... Okay. Bullet. Notifications for purchases or person-to-person -person payments as they occur. Bullet. Parental controls to limit who your children can send money to. That that is smart. That 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 is good. So they don't send money to random people. Bullet. Option to turn off Apple Cash for family members under 18. Good. Bullet. Shared oversight with another adult in your family sharing group. List end. <sighs> All right, that's good. Augmented reality. And here, here's in part with the Apple event. Augmented reality. AR. Bullet. Location anchors in ARKit 4 enables apps to place AR experiences at a specific geographic coordinate. Cool. Bullet. Extended face tracking support is extended to the new iPhone SE. Oh, that, that's cool. That, that is it. That, that, that's cool, but interesting. Bullet. Video textures in Reality Kit enable apps to apply video to any part of a scene or virtual object. List end. Cool. Camera. See, augmented reality won't be help. It's not for blind people yet because it's still in its alpha stage. It's it, it's in pre precursor stage. Now, in about maybe ten to twenty years from now, eh, or even five years from now, eh, eh, possibility. Bullet, improved shot to shot performance speeds up the time to first shot and makes shooting photos even faster. Cool. Bullet, quick take video can now also be captured on iPhone XS and iPhone XR when in photo mode. Why wasn't it before that? But okay then. Bullet. Quick toggles in video mode to change video resolution and frame rate from the camera app. I love that. Bullet. Updated night mode capture experience on iPhone 11 and iPhone 11 Pro provides guidance to help you stay steady throughout the capture, as well as an option to cancel the shot mid-capture. Oh, cool. Bullet. 
Exposure compensation control lets you lock an exposure value for an entire camera session. All right, that's nice. Bullet. Mirror front camera lets you capture selfies that match the front camera preview. Bullet. Improved QR code reading to scan codes, even if they are smaller wrapped around objects. List end. Okay, that that that's cool. CarPlay. Now here's about CarPlay. Bullet. List start. I don't use CarPlay, but I know some people that watch my channel do, and they were talking about Siri and stuff, which I'll get to that at the very end of this video about Siri and uh, how some people were having problems. New category. Bullet. New categories of supported apps for parking, EV charging, and quick food ordering. Okay, cool. That, that's cool. Let's see. I'm also checking when the software update is available, too. Bullet. Wallpaper options. Wallpaper options. This is cool. Bullet. Share ETA and send audio messages with Siri. Bullet. Horizontal status bar support for cars with portrait screens. Okay. Bullet. Chinese and Japanese keyboard and support gives users an additional option to search for points of interest. List end. FaceTime. Bullet. List. Improved video quality with up to 1080p resolution on iPhone 10 and later. Okay, that, that, that's cool. The FaceTime quality has been upgraded. That, does this mean that Max will finally have a uh, call, uh, f um, webcams at 1080p? Ooh. Bullet. New eye contact feature uses machine learning to subtly adjust the position of your eyes and face to make video calling more natural even when you're looking at the screen instead of the camera. List end. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Files. F All right. Now here's files. Hmm. What, what's new? Bullet. APFS encryption support for external drives. List end. Aw, oh, nice. Help. Bullet. Health. Now here's health. Bullet. Wind down helps you create a pre-bedtime routine with apps and shortcuts, like listening to a relaxing playlist. Okay, I use the um, bedtime feature, and it actually is pretty nice, especially the morning ringtone uh, that wakes the alarm for in the morning. Now, I'm a deep sleeper, so eh, it don't work so well for me, but... I mean, the times that I am up, I do like that, that, that tone, and I let it repeat for like two minutes. <laughs> Bullet. Custom sleep schedules help you meet your sleep goals with bedtime reminders and wake-up alarms. Yes. Bullet. Sleep mode minimizes distractions during wind down and bedtime by turning on do not disturb and simplifying your lock screen. Yes. I do like that. Bullet. Health checklist helps you track and manage health and safety features in one place. Bullet. New mobility category in the health app, including metrics like walking speed, double support time, step length, and walking asymmetry. List end. Oh, cool. Keyboard and international. Now here's keyboard and international. Bullet. List. On device dictation helps protect your privacy by performing all processing completely offline. Dictation and search uses server-based dictation in order to recognize terms you may be searching for from across the internet. Okay. That, that's, okay. Bullet. Search within the emoji keyboard using a word or phrase. All right. Bullet. Keyboard displays auto-fill suggestions from contacts for email addresses, phone numbers, and more in apps. Bullet. New dictionaries for French, German, Indonesian, English, Japanese, simplified Chinese, and Polish English. All right. Interesting. Bullet. Wubi input method for simplified Chinese. Bullet. Auto correction support for Irish, Gaelic, and Norwegian and Norsk. Okay. Bullet. Redesigned Japanese Kana keyboard with easier input for numbers. Bullet. Mail supports email addresses using non lat languages. List. Music. Now here's music. Bullet. A new Listen Now tab for playing and discovering your favorite music, artists, playlists, and mixes. Bullet. Autoplay keeps music playing when you reach the end of a song or playlist by finding similar songs to play. So, simply, th this is all the music stuff. Uh, you know, if y'all want to go look through, I'm not going to drag this video on any longer. Search. Bullet. Li no. Bullet. No. Library filtering helps you find artists, albums, playlists. Voice over off. So essentially, it, this thing goes on for a little while. I mean, music, it, music, and a few other things are the ending, but some some features may not be available in all regions. So iOS 14 should be out. Uh, if you did remove the beta profile, I am noticing on my iPad Pro right now that it is not showing. So I am I wonder because it is. Um, as I'm recording this, it is. 122 p.m. Eastern. Uh, so this update, uh, I've been hearing good reports and it's been running good on the iPad mini 4 and the iPhone 7. So, you know, iOS 14, what's new? You go ahead and install. You should, you should install the update. It, it's, it's a good update. Uh, it's got, um, all the good bells and whistles, uh, all the way from the iPhone 6s up to the iPhone 11 Pro Max. It's all supported. So anyways, thank you all so much for watching this video. 
and I'll see y'all with iPadOS in a few and about a day. Learn more. iOS 4. So, as I was saying, um, I got interrupted. I had to edit a few things out, and also I, uh, someone needed uh, my attention while I was making the video. But, anyways, yeah, expect my iPadOS video, like, ne like tomorrow or uh, uh, Thursday or Friday. iPadOS, uh, iOS and iPadOS 14 is also not available for, uh, as of recording this, for the iOS 13 devices that are currently running 13.7 or 13 point whatever. But I encourage everyone to install it. Uh, it should be out within the within the next hour with the with within the next five hours. It should be available, like five hours from. Uh, trying to see what time it is. Five hours from. 1 30 p.m. So by 6 30 p.m. Eastern, it should be available. It should be available to download. Go to settings, general, and software update. If you do not see the update. Uh, if you installed the GM build on your device already, if you are running the beta profile, uh, you can go back to my other video where I give a step-by-step -step on how to remove the profile uh, if you're done with the betas. Uh, if you already installed it from yesterday with the GM update, you will not be seeing an update pop up. You're already on the latest build. So anyways, like I said, thank you all so much for watching. Beta testing will continue on the iPhone 7 and the iPad mini 4, the iPad Pro, and this iPhone 11 will no longer run the betas. I will install the GM copy on this 11 from right now and let you get a little head start to let you all know by Friday uh, what, what my final thoughts are on the beta process pro uh, by Saturday on my thoughts on the beta process and uh, how iOS ran through the betas and how it's running without beta problems. So anyways, I'll see you all in another video. Like I said, I expect my iPad OS, what's new uh, features and stuff like that coming out tomorrow or Friday. And I will do my follow-up this Saturday. I'll do a little follow-up roundup this Saturday. And then my big follow-up will come out in the middle of next week for iOS 14. If you still want to be hesitant and not update, uh, you can do so. But I encourage everyone to update. This is this is a really good update. It was smooth on beta eight, and I'm hearing it's very. I'm hearing very good positive reports for the GM copy. So, anyways, like I said, I'll see y'all in another video. Peace.